Hello guys. This is Paula who's been very busy. Um, I'm more comfortable in my craft chair right now than I am in the living room. So I decided that I'm going to do a video. And um, I'm working on a fall book. The reason I didn't show you guys any of the fall book is because it's nothing new for you guys. And I am really trying to speed through, do a good job, and get my books done. I want to make two or three fall books. And this is going to be the first one. I'm going to show it to you. So, I did a little golden called Ready, Set, Grow, a book about nature, but I love the pumpkins, and it became a fall book. This is the spine. It's two signatures. It's got a lot of pages. I don't I haven't counted them yet, but more than normal. Okay, so we will, we will make stuff today, and then we'll decorate this uh, in the next video. If we have time today, we will, but I have a lot planned. So... This is definitely a craft with me um, because there's a lot of crafting to be done. Hope you guys are doing well. I um, was going to hang out with my friend today, but she had a family emergency. So we're just going to do our own thing here. Now, I, gosh, I don't even know where to start. We've got these things to do. Uh, let's start with this stuff. Okay, so I made this. Um, I've been, I've been make, I made one for my traveler's notebook, and we looked at it then. And I made this for this book. But guess what I forgot to do? Chop it off. It needs to be this height. <laughs> so it's going to be a short, shorter version. But, and I just realized I really can't do that right now. Cause I got my machine covered up. So we'll move on to the next one and we'll come back if, if we have time. So let's, Gail had done some of these tea stain paper envelopes, um, in her video yesterday, day before, something like that. And I thought these would be perfect for, I've made them before and I've made them with the doily before. But I didn't make them with, uh, uh, what else did she do that I didn't do that was the same. But anyway, regardless, it's the same principle. I did not do them stacked on top of each other. That's the difference. And, of course, Gail makes it look so much fun. I had to try it. And so here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and just stack three like she did. And what you do is you line your coffee stain paper up at the top here, up against the, the last one you did, so that they all are even. The first one that I did, we just folded. We just decided what size we wanted it to be, and then we just fold it. And then you line it up at the top of the fold right there, and you will get a perfect three perfect envelopes. I like this. I'm going to put this one on the front or down on the bottom. And um, then this one will be the top and this one can be the second one. Now, I'm going to fold the flaps down. You want to fold the flaps down as far as you can. Make sure you lined up, you're lined up on both sides. And you know what? You have to sew this too. I just realized it. Well, I'm just going to move the stuff that's in front of my sewing machine because we got to get this stuff done. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, other than it hurts, but that's all right. So I, I'm just glad that emotionally I feel better today. You know, it starts to get you after a while. <laughs> You start feeling like everybody's not on your side and poor me and you know how it is. You guys know how it is. Now, I got to think how she did this. Because <laughs> um, she did pockets, right? But she also used the flap. Maybe we need to... 
or maybe you just glue it up partially and leave it. No, that's not right. I watched that video and it looks simple and it's been a long time since I've done them. I thought that she had put them together by the flaps, but maybe not like this. I think that's what she did do. And you know, she stitched them individually all around. And I'm thinking that I want to stitch them this one. I really, you don't have to do much stitching on the others because you could actually stitch them all together. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. It's going to be just like this. Just barely going to give a little space in between each one. And I'm going to I'm going to pin them together with um, a uh, clip. I'm going to put them together with the clip. But I want to get them all lined up where they look, you know, like they will when we put the... Um, you know what? I think it also would be better if we put the doilies on here as we make them. And you know what? I planned this out so perfect, and I only got... Oh, I, I did get two. Okay, so this I'm going to show you. If I seem like I don't know what I'm doing, I do. I just have to think it out. Now, my doilies... I don't have any that's tea stained other than these, this size. And so my doilies are going to be smaller than hers, but that's okay. I, you know, it doesn't matter what size your doily is. You just want it to not be bigger than the envelope. So what I did is I cut two five inch or three five inch wide um, and then left it the width of the copy paper. So I'm just folding this like this and I am thinking I like the fold over look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it with a little bit folding over. Now I don't know how it's going to end up looking. I haven't done it. But I don't like that raw edge because I think it will hang on things when people go to put stuff in pockets and so forth. Yeah, I like the way that looks. So let me pin that one. And I do think we'll just stitch them separately and then figure out what we're doing from there. And then while we're stitching, we'll stitch the other one too. But we're going to do them all identical and see what we end up with. Now, I also want this to be, I like that you can get two out of this. I just want them to be even. So I'm just kind of lining them up. So they kind of look even. Okay, so we're gonna put it right here. Yeah, you want it to come all the way down to the end of your flap, so Whatever works for that is what you want. Okay. I want them to kind of look alike, you know, a little bit. Let's see if that's pretty even. That's close enough. I'm not really trying to go for perfection. I'm just, you know, wanting them to have the same space of this part of the, um, the center part of the dually, you know. And because I did the flaps the same. Yeah, those are going to look pretty good. Let's try that one more time. And we get our other doily. These are beigey, tea stain looking color, muslin looking color. Um, you can get them. I either got these at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. I, I can never remember. You know, you never know. It's I've had them forever. But I've seen them uh, not that long ago, I think. Okay, so we got this one on here. Fold it over. 
Now I'm gonna make these, I'm gonna stitch them with brown thread. You know, I'm sticking with the fall colors because this is gonna go in a fall book. Okay, I hope you guys aren't bored since you watched Gail do this a day or two ago. I watched her too and it reminded me of it and I was like, ooh, forgot about those. I'm not as good as Gail at <laughs> making a book that has examples. I go off my brain and that's not always a good thing. <laughs> Especially these days. Okay, so I think they look pretty consistent, don't you? So let me move this other stuff that I had out already and we will pull my machine over. Now, I've got my machine up on this glass mat, which it's gonna rock and roll, I'm afraid. So let me see. I think I'm gonna do, um, I think I want to do, I was thinking a straight stitch, but I think I want to do zig, no, let's do a straight stitch. I think it'd be better to do a straight stitch. Now, obviously I pinned these too soon, so I'm just gonna pin them right here on the flap, right there. Okay, and we're just gonna stitch up and down the sides, but before I do that, I'm gonna stitch across here. Okay, so we wanna, let me make sure you guys can see. Can you see right there? I didn't plan this, so I, hopefully my machine won't rock and roll. Yeah, I decided we, I just want, I don't wanna to have to change stitches midstream. So we'll just do it like this. Plus then I don't have to tie off anything as well. So here we go. You can do a little back stitch right there and you're gonna go ahead and try to keep it as straight as you can, of course. And we are gonna stitch uh, across this and then take it off the machine. Let me look. Yeah, take it off the machine. I'm sorry, that was my ink dauber. <laughs> it decided it would just fall off. Okay, so we're going to do it like that, trim off the excess, and we're gonna move along. So, uh, I was gonna talk about something, but I changed my mind. Okay, um, I'm gonna take this off because we're not ready to do it anyway. And then when we are, we'll have it. Let me move it. Okay, there we go. All right, so we wanna keep the flap up here and we're gonna stitch down the sides. Now, the only one that we're gonna stitch, um, the only one we're gonna stitch across the bottom will be the front envelope. But first, I'm going to Remember to back stitch. You want to back stitch up at the opening of the envelope because that's where you'll be going in and out of it all the time. I changed my mind. I am going to just go completely around this because I think I don't know, I wanna make sure of how it's gonna look in the front and the back, you know. It's the first time I've done the three together. So I just wanna make sure, you know, that we're making it look the best we can. Now when you get to the top of the envelope, you wanna back stitch again to give it some strength right there. Dang, I thought that thing's never going to do what it's supposed to do. We probably, I would like to try them sometime and do um, like a stitch all the way around, even the top, even the flap, I mean. Because, you know, that could end up looking really pretty. Pretty. 
How about we say good instead of pretty, Paula? All right, so that's this one is done with its stitching. So I'm going to try to move along quick and do these three. Do across the top first, and then we'll go ahead and my machine's really rocking. Hope it's not affecting the video. I'm sorry if it is. I could have pulled my glass plate off if I had thought about it, but I didn't think about sewing. I did a lot of sewing this morning on that book. Just so you know, it has a lot of stitching in it. It's really cute. Really cute. So, what we're going to do here is same thing. We're just going to stitch along the pocket. Make sure we do the whole back stitch here at the top. See, it's just rocking and rolling. You know, my machine, it has a certain speed and you're not gonna go any faster. I listened to Rachel over at Rocky, Roxy Creations. She goes 90 miles an hour on that machine. I guess my machine has a limit of how fast you can go. Well, I don't know, but I wish I could go faster. Although Gail was saying she thought that when her friend told her that when you go too fast that um, it can cause problems various problems with your machine or whatever you're stitching or whatever, you know. Okay. Number two is done. One more. Let's see. Okay. Now, let's get this last one done. Get this thread that's hanging all over everything out of the way. Get this dolly off. Okay, go across the top right here. This is going to be the front one. So, I'm thinking we want to make sure to do it just like we're supposed to. Okay, here we go. So I ordered some tea stain paper because I know I'm not going to be in any position to do anything too physical. I want to set and be able, when I start feeling like it, I want to start, um, you know, I knew I couldn't stand now and, and on my feet that long and I got that crooked. So guess what? It's not going to be the front one because it's not the prettiest. I started talking and lost my train of thought. Um, anyway, so I ordered some tea stain paper and some doilies from Emily. And can't wait to get that. She's busy this week, so she'll probably work on it this weekend or next week. Thank you, Emily. Okay. Getting close. Oh, I out my eyes always think I'm one stitch closer than I actually am. So I took Sadie outside and it was so pretty out there this morning. You know, we have this big pond and it puts off a breeze even when it's hot. But now there are times that it's very still, but most of the time we have a breeze. Um, but when it's really hot, it's a hot breeze. Anyway, um, so it was 
you know, felt nice out there. And she just stood and held her head up in the air like, you know, oh, I love that. <laughs> she looked so cute doing it. And so she, she went and tinkled, did her business. And then out of the blue, she, I look at her and I said, are you ready to go in the house? And out of the blue, she just dropped it like a horse right on her side and decided that she, uh, now I see why you want to have all of these stitched. It looks better. Okay, so I'm thinking, how far up do we want to do these? I think we need to do them up pretty far. I think we can leave like a half an inch. Let's leave like a half an inch in between them. Don't you think? Now the pocket is gonna be inside here, not behind here. Just so you know. Um, hopefully these turn out like they're supposed to because I just kind of jumped in and decided to do it. I hadn't really given it much thought. <laughs> Probably should have watched the video one more time on how to glue it, but eh, that's all right. So I'm just putting like a, a little rectangle there so I can get it on here and then we're gonna do it like I said we're gonna do it let me bring you guys back down there you go we're gonna do it and leave a half of about a half an inch in between yeah now I don't know if I used enough glue on the back I probably didn't but it will hold it to get us through. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see it leaves a little bit. I'll do a little more this time. Okay, so on our front one, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna leave a half an inch and come on. Getting low on my Fabri-Tac. My friend and I, get together mm, probably once a week to craft and uh we're gonna do it tomorrow but anyway she um and i what was i gonna tell you that bugs me when i do that oh we're gonna be working on a i know exactly what i was gonna tell you a really cool folio that I bought. It was not cheap. I have never seen one with as many flip outs as this one. And, you know, huge. It was like $30. It was already pre-made. And I loved it. I love it because it actually tells you the sizes to cut. Can't get better than that, right? Okay, so here we go. Now, now we need to decorate. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of ink, give it a little bit of grunge. After the holidays, just so you know, I'm going to change things up a little bit. I'm going to start going a little grungier and see what happens. Because I think a lot of people look at my journals and think, She's too neat, you know, and I just feel like I need to go grungier, and I think people don't, you know, think of it as a junk journal as much because it's not grungy or just thrown together, and so I'm not going to throw them together. They'll always be built well. But I just want to try it for a while and see if it changes the amount of subscribers I get, the amount of comments, the amount of views. You know, it's been over a year. I, I feel like I should be having more views. If you guys have any suggestions, you might tell me uh, what they are so I can think on those. I've got a lot of time to think about it, what I'm going to do and so forth. But, um, yeah, you know, I, I watch Gail and Gail does a good job, but I watch Gail and she just, she likes it grungy and, 
and hey, she's got a lot of subscribers. I know there's people who have um, a lot of subscribers that don't do super grunge, but I'm just going to try it. I'm curious. Um, I think what ha is hard for me is, you know, putting really dark ink on and over inking and I try to make my inking look as straight and nice as I can, but evidently it's not always the best. So we'll see. You guys give me your opinion. Tell me what you think. Ooh, those pockets are going to be nice in there. They're not going to be sticky. I like this idea, Gail. Thank you for the inspiration. I know you said you had seen it by from someone else, but I don't recall off the top of my head. I might have to go back and watch her video, too. Okay. So, I did all the outside. Oops, no, I didn't. <laughs> we got to do this flap right here. Okay. Now, as far as where the pockets are, um, I don't know about putting them putting flat, uh, some ink on that part wouldn't try it and see it's you know it's a straight pocket so I don't think it would tear here let's just oh no that's the glued down part yeah it, that part would tear <laughs> I'm sure I'm missing spots on this but that's all right so I'm just gonna do a little bit of ink right there so it doesn't look so blah now, I, I will probably be gluing this in, so I'm not going to ink the backs. And, um, but I like this look. Um, where did my doilies go? There they are. I'm getting all freaked out here, thinking my doilies are gone. Okay, I think this, this, um, can't remember which one was which. I want the one that has the biggest... And see, this is why you, you know what I did wrong? Gail, you're right. We should put the, the dolly on first. So the only one I'm going to tuck over is going to be the top one. Okay? Because I waited and didn't, I didn't get it on like I should. So I'm going to use some of my glitter glue. Got it in the right spot. I'm going to put it right here on the center portion and on bare spots. Okay. Hope you guys can see okay. My phone is higher than I am. I don't know how it got moved, but it did. So it makes it kind of hard for me to see. But I'll peek in just a minute. Now... I'm going to go over here and glue the back down since we do have back on this one. And I'm going to worry about where it goes. I'm just going to fix it to hold it down. Now, on the others, we will have to just cut them um, and hope for the best. Let me make sure you can see all this time I'm sitting here. It would be not cool if you couldn't. Okay, so let me move these clips since I didn't end up needing them. You know, I didn't know how it was going to play out, so you just kind of do what you got to do. Okay, now I'm going to cut this straight where I folded it. And I'm using my fabric scissors, which I should not be doing. This kind of has a fabric feel to it. I don't know, like I said, it kind of feels like muslin a little bit on top of a doily, but it's adhered really well, so I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I think I'm going to put this one here at the bottom and this one here and hope that I got them straight. Now, that's how you're going to know where your pocket is not going to be behind this flap. You're going to raise the flap, and it's going to be inside. 
okay? So I'm going to hold this down. Let me put this lid right here. I want to keep it down so I can get it somewhat even <laughs> so it doesn't look cockeyed. I'm going to use my glitter glue. Now this time I will have to put it along the top so that we um, can hold down the edges. Okay. Keep your fingers crossed that I cut it straight. I hope I don't get my head in the video. If I do, I'm sorry. Okay. So just line it up, you know, just eyeball it. You don't have to measure and make sure they're straight. I'm just kind of looking and I'm sure they're not perfect. Awesome. Okay, I, I might have to get some more of these. I think this was the last of them or, or it was the only one I found. They, You know, I have stuff spread everywhere like I... I probably have dolies in with all my girl stuff. I have these cases that when I want to scrapbook the girls, I just pull out my girl embellishments. But I haven't scrapbooked for my grandkids in a year. So I got to get busy and do some of that this winter. And hope... And I want to make some Christmas cards and put in my Etsy shop. You guys tell me what you think about that. Okay. I don't know if I will, like, make sets because I'd have to charge too much to do that because it is a lot of work to make cards. I know you guys that have made it know what I'm talking about. It is so time-consuming, and you make so many mistakes, and... You know, huh, yeah, I don't, it's not something, now if you were making them just for your family, that's one thing, but if you're making them any other way, you know, I've put them in there many years ago, I've had my Etsy shop for some while, but I did um, not use it for a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so I like the way that looks, don't you guys? Okay, so I think what we're going to do is decorate right here. Now, remember, we're doing fall. So, I'm going to bring out some different fall things. I have all kinds of stuff going on here, guys. Seriously. Okay. Um, the problem is... I'm wondering, should I, I should have stenciled. That would have been pretty to be stenciled with like some, um, I don't know, you know, like leaves or something. Okay, so I do want to kind of decorate the top. And maybe, no, I don't know about down here. I think just the top. I think we can overdo. What do you guys think? think about that. Do you think we can overdo? I think we can. Uh, this isn't the right box, Polly. You're looking at the wrong box. That's not going to get you anywhere. Okay, so got a lot of little things inside my little box. And so I'm going to kind of just spread some of them out. A lot of those are not things I would use, though. I will tell you something I have that's cute. Where'd it go? Where's my little fairies? I've got some autumn fairies, and they're adorable. I was going through things, and I came up with these cute little autumn fairies, and now I can't find them. I haven't even used them, so they've got to be in here. I've mixed everything up is the problem. You know, <laughs> I had everything... Nice and organized. Oh, there's one. Here's a cute little fairy. Isn't that cute? And then there's also this cute mushroom, which I like, which is, you know, can be fall. There's the little girl fairy. And then here's this little guy. I'm thinking he would be fun down here, you know, maybe. And maybe we can do the little girl down here. So that when we open it, 
there on here and we could put pumpkins or something like that and um yeah that's on here but we're going to put some text or something on there first but let's look at let's look at decorating the top of this okay I don't really know what I want to do with the top. You know, these would be cute behind here, too. Because you, this is just something, if you've got several, it would be cute. If it's just going to be on one, maybe not so much. This one is too big. I've got several in here. Here's one that says, acorns, acorns autumn traditions um but that one has to go the other way so it would have to go like that so we're not going to use that one although it's cute uh let's see i thought i had more than that and i know i haven't used any there's that one again let's see come out of there here's this one it's cute also, so maybe we'll put it right here. Yeah, I'll see what all I got in here, but <coughs> I'm thinking we want to do something fun like that. And if I have more, I'll pull them out as I'm digging for other things. Um, also, I have this cute little fairy flag. I think that's what it is. I think it's a flag. Okay. I had to fussy cut all my goodies. I had some fussy cutting to do. And I think they all turned out cute. Okay, I'm just throwing those there, all the little stuff. And we'll decide what goes where. I'm just tossing it down here, okay? All right. Now, Okie doke. All right. I don't know what's in here, but we'll play with it. So we'll save this for when we're done doing the top. Now, I mean, we could do the top with this, you know, but it covers up our doily. And what's the point of the doily, right? Or we could just do some flowers, you know, and or an acorn and some flowers on one side maybe um i'm thinking and or we could do some cute little flags which i don't really think that's what i want to do okay got butterflies here okay paula get with the program come up with something I'm sorry. I'm always so indecisive. <laughs> I don't know why. I Sometimes I just can't decide. Okay, so let's do this red fall leaf right here. And then do the sunflower. I just, we can do them in the middle here. But let's put the stem down. Yeah, I think that'll look better. And then we can put an acorn right here. Or, I think I have another leaf. Let me see. It may be laying right in front of me. Nope, that's sunflowers. Let's see. Here it is. I have a yellow, which we really don't want yellow because that will just uh, I drop something here. We don't want yellow because that's too close to that, see? Maybe I just like it like it is, you know? We could also put grateful on here. Okay, we're gonna do it like that. And then they're all, everything's inked. So all we have to do is just put it on there. So the first thing I recommend is grabbing your glue. Make sure you get all the little edges that can get hung on things. But do it lightly because 
Yeah, you don't want glue seeping out everywhere. Okay, now I kind of just laid it down and I'm wanting it to go back down the same way. So let's just keep our fingers here. All right, so we're gonna go back under this. Now you are gonna have parts sticking up, obviously. That's all right. And then we'll do the acorn. I, I love to do clusters like this. I would have put um, nothing like dropping it and getting glue everywhere, Paula. I would have put muslin or something like that underneath, but I felt like the dolly was enough. Yeah, now it's time to put down sunflower. Okay, there is a right and wrong way to do this sunflower. This is, is the bottom, or the side, actually. Just like that. Now, let me wipe this up before it dries permanently. You know how that glitter glue is. Sometimes it comes to stay. So on the grateful, you know, I start thinking about the things that I'm grateful for way before Thanksgiving. Um, I think when we see the fall and the beautiful leaves, I don't know about you, but it makes me feel grateful because fall is one of the seasons that just show you the marvelous things our Creator put on this earth, and I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for a lot of things. I'm grateful that our Charlie has been doing well. Um, I think I'm just going to kind of put it to the side, or should I put it in the middle? I think I like it to the side. Maybe. Um, and so I'm grateful for stuff like that. I'm grateful that my husband's going to retire in March and that we can finally have just our own time together. Um, I'm grateful they figured out what was wrong with my body. Oh my gosh, six months. It took six months and I'm still waiting to have the surgery. Isn't that lovely? You could be crawling and they'd still say, we don't have an opening. Okay, let's see, we'll put this right here. So I just decided to put grateful there. I could have put fall or I could have put autumn or something like that, but I like the grateful. And I'm thinking about, instead of doing the big things, just do these little tabs like this. Because I really like those two. And let's see, this one says, remember this. This one is blank. This one says, remember this. Here's one that says, documented. I'm trying to bring them out so we can decide. And then we have this one that... Fall is my favorite time of the year. Let's see. I think that's all of the, that type. So, I think what we should do is go with, not the remember this because, are the docu documented because we're not documenting right here. But, I think what we'll do is put, this one on the right and this one on the left. Let's do it. Oops, those didn't get inked. Some of the stuff I just got cut out last night and some things didn't get inked. So, sorry. All right, those are inked though. Okay, I'm gonna put this on here. You know, I don't use these, these cute little tabs that often because 
you know, I usually don't really have a place to put them, but this is a perfect place because it appears on here that there's like a pocket behind this, but there's not. And so by putting these little tabs down, it also looks like, you know, there's something in there. Okay, let's do this one. And then I think we're gonna move on. I don't think I wanna put the fairies on this particular thing. Um, we're gonna put this one over here. Let me make sure you guys can see. This one over here on this side. Okay. Now, I say we're gonna move on, but I forgot about this. What do we wanna do right here? I've already bent stuff, of course. Um, I'm thinking colors of fall. Mm, I don't really like that. I don't know. I kind of like it plain, but I think we should put some text on here for sure. I have this cool math book that has this really cool typewriter font in it and i love it so let's put this here and we'll either put something else fall like or i'm looking i was looking to see if i had like a big pumpkin but i don't I might have a big pumpkin in my embellishments. Give me a minute. I've got a bag full of goodies here, guys. And I'm looking for a pumpkin. Give me a second. Got some scarecrows. So far, I don't have pumpkins. <laughs> They're really, really big pumpkins, the ones I have. Well, that's a bummer, right? Or, let's see, what else? I know I have other things. And uh, I have stuff in so many containers, you guys. I have this little fall. What about that? Yeah. Sold for a million dollars. Okay, so we're going to put... We could put that or we could just do leaves. Um, this is going to give it a little bit of, of um, what do you call it? I think instead of doing that, because that's going to that's gonna cause um, a little bit of height in the book. And the book is already high enough. There's another thing that I was thinking earlier we could do. Oh, we're going to make those. Uh, it may be a separate video. Okay, so we're going to put the leaves that I have left. I know I have some because I saw them. Let me grab them. You've also got butterflies. I don't know. That just didn't seem real. I don't know. I know butterflies are still around early parts of fall, but... Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Here is this little mushroom's cute, too. Here is a leaf we can put here. And we do have another acorn, or we have another sunflower. How about we do that? And that way, we're staying with what we're doing here. Let me make sure you guys can see. Okay, so we're going to put that there. I do have another little, I have another acorn, but I don't, the other one I cut out because I liked it better. This one's kind of on a, I don't know if I want to do it like that since we didn't do it that way at the top. Or, we can put our little fairy guy right here. <laughs> he doesn't have a bitey. I don't know why they didn't give him a bitey. 
so he can hang off the page is I what I feel like they did. Okay, so we are going to use, oh, here's another leaf. We're going to use the two leaves like this. Okay, two leaves like that. We're going to use another sunflower and we're going to be good with it. Okay, let's get this glued down. We want everything glued down so we can move on to the next. I hope you guys are having fun doing this. I have not completely decorated the book. I am going to do that after we get all the things made. I'm going to do a video and we can decorate it together before I do the flip through. The reason I'm doing, I, I mean, I know you guys like to watch the process. And normally, I like to show the process. It's just that it slows me way down. And I'm really trying to get some books in before my surgery. So you guys can have some books if you want. I know last year I had three or four people want fall books. And I don't want to disappoint anybody. So I want to make it available. And um, and then after I get the, the I'm going to make a traveler's notebook that's fall. That is beautiful. It's going to be Prima. And let me tell you, you know what Prima does. It's real similar to the um, Prima lavender set, only it's with pumpkins and it's gorgeous. But anyway, um, I thought we would do that. And, and then I have a beautiful fabric one um, that I'm going to do. I mean, it's stunning. I'm going to give you a glimpse. Get your eyes ready. It's not going to last very long. That's going to be the outside. That's just laying there. I haven't actually put anything together with that. But just so you know, I do have a plan. So those, I, I just wanted to do three different kinds of books, um, give everybody a different option. But I will tell you, I am loving my inserts that I'm making. I may have to start doing, getting me a, I, I may have to go closer and closer to making more inserts because they're beautiful. When you're done, you get everything you get in a big book and it's half the price. And it's just fun. Okay, guys, look. Here we go. I'm going to get up closer so you can see. Oh, my gosh. We've been on here 53 minutes. I'm going to turn it sideways so you can see everything. Well, what I'll do is stop this video, and I'll start another one. And we can carry on, and I can have everything ready. So, this pocket here, all I'm going to do is stitch down here, but you want to make sure everything's open. I'm going to stitch straight down here, back stitch right here, stitch here, and then go this way, that way, that way, that way, and that way. And then I'm going to decorate this because I need to get this into the golden book also when we put these other things in. And I'm saving these things for us to put in together. So yeah, that's the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed and you're watching today, I would love it if you would. Um, we do lots of fun things and normally I'm on way more often. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.